I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines and welcome to my channel. But following the outbreak of Covid-19 I decided to stop riding my bike. And it's now early July and this time of year I'm normally going out to the Yorkshire Dales, into Wales and the Lake District on some fantastic bike rides. So it was time to get fit again and I took to my local hills on the mountain bike to build up the fitness and shortly afterwards I got back on the road again just trying to get the fitness levels that bit higher ready to do some longer rides for the coming months ahead. And as my fitness improved I decided to give the Cragvale Loop a go which is a really challenging 20 mile loop around Tobberdon, Hebden Bridge and Mythenroyd with England's longest climb. And to get around the Cragvale Loop under the hour is always the goal and not forgetting the fantastic descent of Blackstone Edge, which is a scary fast downhill descent. Well, that was a tough ride. And so I thought I'd hit the Cragvale loop for one more time. It's a 20 mile loop with 1,360 feet of ascent. And the quickest time around it clockwise is just over 52 minutes, which is a fantastic time. And to get a top 10 on the leaderboard these days, you've got to be hitting it in around 55 minutes, which means you need to be averaging over 22 miles per hour to do this. So here we are, it's quarter to nine in the evening and it's our last day of June 2020. This is 22 miles an hour. 24.1 Okay, just approaching Gordon Riggs, 10 minutes, 30 seconds, bang on. I'm not going full gas, I'm riding a nice tempo, 22 miles an hour. I don't think I'm fit enough to go under the hour yet. So it's all about playing the averages on the sections like here now. And just about talk and hold pace. 22.6 miles an hour. We're approaching Gox all marches. 13 minutes 23 seconds. We have to pray now the lights are on green and they're not. This is 23 miles an hour. It's not quick enough to be coming down here to go under the hour. But if there's a light wind all the way around, I may, got, I may get a general good average speed. This is now 24.5 miles an hour. Back up to 25 miles an hour. Okay, Tomerden, approaching the roundabout, 15 minutes, 29 seconds. Go right, right. Okay, yep, we're coming through. This section is eastward, passing the council tip at 20 minutes, 5 seconds. Look, that's 21.5 miles an hour average speed, over 7 miles. This is 24 minutes, 55 seconds to the arches before Hebden Bridge. Nine miles. 21.7 miles per hour. Average speed. Hey, 
Hebden Bridge. 26 minutes, 55 seconds. Mytham Ride, 30 minutes, 50 seconds. Right, right, right. And now the big climb of Crag Vale. And I'm pretty knackered now. This is 37 minutes, five seconds to the Robin Hood pub. I'm riding tempo to the best of my ability. It's not full gas, but it's on the edge of what I can do. 14 miles an hour. I've managed 12.5, 12.6 for most of that early part on the 52, 25, spinning quite a bit. It climbs in, now ramps up a bit, 14.4. I'm dropping back now, 12.5, 12.7. Okay. This is the Hurt Locker now, the steep bit, 42 minutes, 30 seconds. I've got to hold on, don't blow it on here. Keep playing the averages, back on 52.28. Approaching Sykes' gate, 46 minutes, 6 seconds. It's 9.27 pm. I've maintained an average of 19, and I've got England's longest climb to negotiate. And I'm 14.7 miles into the loop into the mist as well, the camera might get wet. Come on! So here I was at the top of Blackstone Edge knowing that I was around 55 minutes or thereabouts and with a good descent on the right day, that's doable. I knew that the hour was possible but with a wet road surface like this uh, you've got to be so careful so I thought right let's just go for it you can see that I'm giving the camera lens a wipe I gave this descent everything that I had left in my legs with the conditions not in my favour unfortunately the camera never filmed it it could have made for quite good viewing but here's a small clip from a previous descent and did we get to the bottom and break the hour, hour. Well, let's go and find out That was a fast, fast ascent of Blackstone Edge. That wasn't under the hour. It was an hour and something, but four and a half minutes in five weeks. And that's mountain bike training. Wow. So here's some data from the ride. And I got a few little trophies that I never expected coming by there and a few PRs. And under close inspection, I broke the hour by one second. I got a crag veil clockwise in 59 minutes and 59 seconds. So I was well over the moon with that one. Well, the bike never let me down. It did actually help me tonight because I've got some new wheels on here. I've got some Jorit Hayes C60s. So they're a 50 mil profile rim. They're meant to give you some more advantages aerodynamically. Maybe over 22 miles an hour <clears throat> to give you some benefits. I normally run C40s or 35 millis, they're a bit lighter. This bike at the moment, I've got some slightly heavy tyres on here and I'm running 25 milli Continental Pure Grip tyres. They are slightly heavy and the whole bike comes in at just under 7.5 kilograms, which isn't too bad. If I work on this bike, I can get it down to 7.2 kilograms. It's a super light bike, it's a crit bike. But as you can see with the Eastern Aero bars, I've got an Eastern group set on it for all my cockpit and seat posts. I'm running SRAM Red 22 and the stem could be lowered a bit more, get it a bit more slammed but it's very comfortable. But then wheels do set the bike off really nice. 
Anyway, it's 10 to 10. It's time to head home. And if you like these videos, let me know. I do try my best. <laughs> It'd be nice to break the hour, but I need to be a lot stronger and fitter. I'm getting there. And the Cragvale Loop, for me, is the best test. Until the next time, people.